Hey guys, with the release of WordPress 5.8 Tatum, there has been a lot of discussion around the WebP images. And if you look at the announcement on WordPress.org, uh, it says that WebP is a modern image uh, format that provides improved lossless and lossy comparison for images on the web. So I have already made a video about WebP images and how it is going to change the whole web experience. Now in today's session, we will be looking at how we can download all the images from your media library and also how we can bulk convert them into WebP images. So let us check out. Hi, this is Prakash from theskillwheel.com and in this session, we'll be looking at how we can download all the images from our media library and also we will see how we can bulk convert any images into WebP. So let us hover over to the media library and you will see that I have a, a test website on which there are lot of images and if I wish to download all these images, it will take a lot of time for me to download those. So to download all the images from the media library, we just need to add a new plugin. So let us go to plugins and go to add new. And here you need to type in export media library. So this is the plugin. Uh, the name is export media library and it has more than 30,000 active installations. So let us install this plugin. So once you install, you can just activate the plugin. And once you activate it, if you hover over to the media tab, you will see a new tab now under the media that is the export tab. So this is a new feature added by the export media library plugin. And here you get an option to select the folder structure. So in the dropdown, if you check the options, it is a single folder with all the files and a nested folder. So you just need to select the single folder with files uh, in this section. So it is asking me if uh, uh, I want a compressed version or not. So enabling compression can decrease the size of the zip download but requires more processing on the server so i will just say download zip so without compression so it will start downloading all the images on my website into a zip folder so now if i open this folder you will see a zip file for the media library for our website so if I click on this and extract the images, it should show all the images on our media library. So let us extract it. Fantastic. So here are the downloaded images for our website. Fantastic it is. So you need not download a single single images from your website. You can bulk download them. Now let us see how we can bulk convert these images into WebP images. 
So to convert any type of images into WebP images, we need to search for a Chrome extension. So remember, this is a Chrome extension and which can convert any number of images into WebP. So let us search for bulk images to WebP converter. So the first one that you see on the screen is the extension or a Google uh, app you can see. And with this app, you can convert any number of images into WebP images. So I will say add to Chrome and add app. So it is processing the app creation on our browser. So if I now visit the browser, the apps will show me the bulk images to WebP uh, converter app. So it's a very simple app wherein we just need to uh, open the images which are to be converted into WebP. And since if you know, uh, Google is promoting the WebP images. So this is kind of a app from uh, Google apps section. So here we need to select the files or you can also drag and drop the files from the Google Drive. So I will go and select the folder that we have just downloaded the files to. So let us go to uh, the media library that we had downloaded and I will simply select all the images and open them here. So you will see these all images of a different type are now open here. And uh, the best part is I can select the WebP quality here. So maybe I will select it to 90%. And uh, if you just want to make a note of uh, the file size for uh, any of these images, I will note this 1212.png is having 280 KB uh, file size. So let us see after the uh, WebP conversion, how much the file size has changed. So let us convert all these files to WebP images. So it has now started uh, converting the images. So it is very fast and very user friendly. And most importantly, this is a free tool which we can use to convert any type of images into WebP. So now it is uh, showing total 213 files and uh, it has completed almost more than half of them. Great job. So uh, it is saving a lot of time because to convert a single single images into WebP will be a very time consuming job. So just while we are talking, uh, the file conversion has completed. Fantastic it is. So it has converted uh, the file sizes. So let us check uh, the file that we had noted down. Uh, the file name was 1212. So it has compressed the files from 280 KBs to 32 KBs. Isn't it fantastic? And you will see uh, the same happening for all the images. So here you have an option to save all these images to Google Drive or you can download them as a zip file. So I will download these images. 
So now it has started creating a zip file and it has already done that. So I will just click and download the zip file. So now I will open the zip and unzip the files to check the converted images. So I will extract it. So remember we have already made a video on the importance of WebP images and how uh, we can uh, compress the images without losing the image quality. So that is the reason uh, Google and WordPress both are promoting the use of WebP images. So these are all your images and uh, if you check the quality of the image, definitely it will be at par with the original images. So this is how we can download all the media uh, library images and if you wish to convert them into uh, WebP images, you can just make use of uh, the bulk images to WebP converter and then uh, update all the images into a WebP format. So that is all in uh, today's session. So in the uh, next session, I will again bring some interesting topic about web development and WordPress learning. And remember, I make videos for the non-techie people so that they can learn and create fantastic websites. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get notifications for all my upcoming videos. So thank you so much for watching and take care.